G'day guys, out there, good to see us all. We, uh, good to see the comments too, actually. Keep them up, we, I, I really enjoy them. Uh, some people have got some helpful tips. Some have some not so helpful tips, but very funny. Uh, it's good to see the uh, interaction. So as you can hear, I've got the D4 going. I've got my um, hoses. So just uh, there somewhere, there's a hose down there. I've got genuine. So that's good. They fit like a glove. The other exciting thing is, just don't mind me with my voice and that, I've just still got this loogie a bit, eh? Anyway, we're still going. So, i got Paul here. He's under here. Somewhere. There he is. we just got the, uh, all the bits, and now Paul's going to help us. We're going to do this rebuild. We'll do the main and big end bearings on the front truck. So, we're just in the process of that. Got our bearings. Got the new water pump. Gaskets, new turbo, head sorted, you saw that one. So that'll be exciting if we can finally get this together, I think. So, anyway, I'll keep you posted. Good afternoon there, guys. We've just um, been progressing on our dump truck here, so. We've got Paul under here. Oh, trying. His back will be a bit average for a few days. In the legs, eh? <laughs> so, we've got all our... Paul put the new bearings in there, which was good. And I'll show you, just about to put the oil pump back on and then the sump. And I'll show you the bearings here. So typically, that's not too bad, you know. It's just used, but okay. Just wear and tear a bit, you know, a little bit there maybe, but certainly okay. But we uh, picked up this one here, which was makes it worthwhile I'm glad we did it so you can just see in there it's actually just starting to pick up the white metal a little bit so it's a very good move doing the bearings so we're just uh, prepping everything for him I just cleaned up the uh, oil pump oh it's up this one here so I just Pulled that apart and cleaned it, checked it, and uh, put a assembly lube on. I've just been taking all the O-rings off and all the water stuff and gaskets, cleaning that up. Uh, this one here as well. It's getting all ready, clean up hoses. So yeah, it's nice. Uh, we're progressing, not too bad at the moment. Still progressing here. I've just cleaned up the spacer plate. Mr. Caterpillar likes to um, put a spacer plate in there, so... I reckon it's more things to go wrong, but anyway. Well, uh, she's all clean, we've got the sump clean. Paul's just cleaning up the top. Getting all the surface good up there. Uh, we've fitted the water pump, I'll show you. <coughs> and the oil cooler. Uh, just there's the water pump and the air cooler there. Uh, all new O-rings. <coughs> um, yeah, slow and steady wins the race, eh? Hey? Paul's still up there cleaning, but I'm having a bit of a schizo moment. Because uh, we've got some action on the D4, there's, there's Matt. You're not meant to catch me working. <laughs> I, I missed it, but him and, J, him and JD actually put the seat in. So I got out of that one. You can finish it if you want. <laughs> so, I'm just sort of in a bit of shock, to be honest. Nah, it's good to see. We've just pulled the bash plates. Well, actually, JD did. <clears throat> Have a look at that for a whole lot of fun down in there. She's, uh, she's thick, eh? Hey? I was, I was like a little... A little nest for the sump. A little insulation pad. Let's see if I can get you in here. Just in there. So you can see where the sump hole is. Was. So, yeah, I'm wanting to just give that a real good pressure wash down in here. 
<coughs> make sure we've got no more leaks while we're going and I think we're nearly ready to put her in the paddock I hope I probably said that about three weeks ago oh <laughs> we're having a GoPro off he's, yours is better than mine uh, yeah he's having GoPro envy if you want to know for the future guys like often like we've got because we've got what six of us on the go there's just stuff happening all the time so often things happen together and yeah it's all linked up and then it's never like you can start on a job finish the job and don't get called off doing something else so you often do a bit on this job then you call away over there so that makes it a bit bit hard to make the um it clear as far as the uh just the jobs in in the youtube so anyway but it's um that's Matt's worry with the editing, not mine. <laughs> well, good morning, guys. We're back on the old dump truck today. That Paul's just cleaned up the head there. And I'm just uh, lining up the new turbos. These are these are big suckers, eh? So, just got to locate the uh, oil drain and pressure lines, the right spot, and uh, the hot end and the cold end. So, I'm just realigning that as we speak so I'll maybe I'll put you there see how we go Heart still, I'm just lubing up the head bolts. We've got new ones, we've got the head up there. We get a, uh, I think we're ready to put her on. There she all is. I'll just put you down here and we'll be able to see. Just uh, nearly finished at the top end here. Paul's just putting the bracket on for the exhaust. Put the tapper covers on. We're just at the moment pressure testing. We um, got the old gauge here going into the radiator. Just giving her a couple of PSI, just checking for leaks on the hose clamps and that sort of thing. We found a few. So that's good, fix them up. Yeah. We're making good progress, I think. Well, howdy, everybody. We've got Brad working away. Um, I think he's finally basically finished the work that needs to be done on Tiny Top. I think it should come up real nice. So I just brought the pressure washer down again because it, yeah, the one that was here died and we're just having a bit of a problem with them at the minute. But there's the belly plate Josiah's got on the forklift. It looks like it's about six inches thick, but that's just that's just dirt and years of oil and stuff. So um, yes, that's what's going on there. I don't know if we need to get you guys up to speed with anything else other than the floor's all been painted and 
yes, work continues on the dump truck. So I think the the bones of everything's bolted in and just about ready to go, but a side note or a side issue has been this flat tire which we should have been pumping up a few weeks ago. Um, but I'm just doing that now and it's actually going up. I thought that might have come off the bead and then that'd be a pain, but I got this little one of dad's impulse purchases because this compressor, um, I don't know, it'd be a couple of years now, but it's one of those little SP um, compressors and yeah, just got that little tank on it. 2.2 horsepower, wasn't, wasn't overly expensive. And um, yeah, the, the guys have just been using that for most of the things, just blowing out bits and pieces and whatever. And it's actually, yeah, it's done a pretty good job. Paul Aussie, I don't know what we call them on the channel, but Aussie said um, that, yeah, he's been pretty impressed with it because he wasn't expecting much from it, but it uh, exceeded his expectations. So I'm um, just leaving that on there for a bit. Yeah, it's definitely going up. So that'll be good. Uh, I'll probably, once it is up a reasonable amount, I'll probably just let it rest for a bit so we don't, don't, uh, yeah, burn that compressor out. So we'll try and leave all the smoke on the inside. We won't let the smoke out. Anyway, um, I think, yeah, I sort of haven't been involved in this project, so I'm just wandering around aimlessly, not really knowing what I'm meant to be doing, um, which some would say is what I'm good at. I don't think he gave the outside a wash to be honest, but it's all clean where it counts. All clean? Sorry. No. I, you look dirty. Yeah, I'm not clean. You just transferred the dirt from it to you. Yeah, that doesn't sound like you, Brad. You you would have usually palmed that job off. I would have. Ah, you want to move that air hose so you don't squish it? Thank you. I'm pumping up the uh, tyre on the dump truck, finally. Well, sounds like the dump truck might be kicked into life soon. Let's see if she fires up. You know the batteries will probably be flat. Nah, no, 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 bad positivity. It's going to start up first try and work. <laughs> Pretty interesting to say the least. We've had pretty much all within a few weeks. The dump truck, um, yeah, was putting water into the oil, ended up doing a can bearing, and so that's why it's been down for a few weeks. We've had to just wait because we didn't have time to do it um, straight away. We had the grader did a transmission, so it was 
We were trying to get onto that as much as possible. The Cat Challenger, we'd pulled the motor out, sent it away, but found out that in that time frame there was a massive shortage of injectors or injector parts, whatever. So, yeah, found out we wouldn't have the Challenger for sewing, so we had to get the Steiger set up and use that for sewing. We're still waiting on the injectors. That was back in February, maybe, was it? We took the motor out of that, something like that. So, it's been a long time. So we've still got to wait for injectors for that. Um, so, but that is the only thing we've got that's pulled apart, waiting to be reassembled. Um, we also had the Rogator. It um, did a hydro. So yeah, that was where we had it in here actually. The fir very first time the Rogator has ever been to this property, the development block, it um, did the hydro. So it was, um, yeah, that's when we had to pull the cab off and everything here and get them sent away, but it's all running well. I'm sure there was something else that died. Um, anyway, it all just, everything happened at once. So the dump truck had to just take a back seat for a bit because we didn't um, have the time. But now, uh, now the crops are all in the ground. Um, there's a little bit of pressure taken off. So. Looks like we're testing the Jake brakes. Seems to be working. That's loud. It's getting me very excited. How many how many months has that been there? Very many. That was before sewing, so. Three or four months, probably three. What are the fans that you can leave it like a rat line in the bonnet off or put the bonnet back on? Mmm. I guess that just means more rubber hoses we have to replace more often, isn't it? Well, that tyre is being pumped up by that little compressor. That's pretty good. You're ready to do some burnouts uh, with it on the new painted floor, Brad? Yeah. We'll, we'll wet her up, oil, her, oil up the floor and do some six wheel burnouts. <laughs> That'd be right. We'll tear it all up before you even get to use it. It's working. So we're actually waiting on a bit of um, flex joint for the exhaust system, so that's why the exhaust isn't hooked up. We're not just having a... Uh, having a a boy moment or well, maybe we are a little bit but there's a reason for it so I think uh, the plan is Brad's going to give it a pressure wash over here so there isn't a lot left to do other than that oh just a few tidy off bits but yeah just the exhaust joint which will probably be here next week now so That is good to see that out of the shed, I tell you. You probably meant to put the cab down, I guess, but uh, he probably feels like he's in an aeroplane ready to take off. He struggles to see over, out the window at the best of times. This isn't helping him. Recline. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? It's nearly the end of the day anyway, so we might even just see what we get up to tomorrow. Well, g'day and good morning. So, these are our parts. We've been waiting so I can get the old dumpy going. So, it's very exciting. We're just about finished with it. So Brad is very excited. Just got to replace a little uh, transmission hose back there that was dribbling. I gave it a pressure wash uh, the other day. It was filthy. It was atrocious. And put the belly guards on. So we're just going to put the uh, 
exhaust on, then we've got the bonnet. What's left of it, it is a bit rusty. I wonder whether we should give it a birthday, actually, and try and chase up another bonnet and nose cone. <clears throat> Someone got very excited with that one and run into something. Plus, there's a lot of rust in there, too. <clears throat> so, anyway, that's our... Um, today's job for me anyway, trying to get this dumpy going and then we can go and put it to work. Uh, robo has been getting the waterway, one waterway ready for us. He uh, laid it out nicely so we're going to dump some rock in there and yeah, hopefully that'll stop it washing away. Should come up quick, so that's good. It's just our transmission pressure. It's good. 